Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your honor dwells. Psalm 26, 8. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by His infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in His presence to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at His hands, to declare His most worthy praise, to hear His holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declare to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure, pure brightness, brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm is on page 281, Psalm 13. How long will you utterly forget me, O Lord? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I seek counsel in my soul and be so vexed in my heart? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, that I sleep not in death, lest my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. For if I am cast down, those who trouble me will rejoice. But my trust is in your mercy, and my heart is joyful in your salvation. I will sing of the Lord, because he has dealt so lovingly with me. Indeed, I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Isaiah 59, 9 to 20. 
Therefore are justice and right far from us. The righteousness and the salvation do not overtake us. We expectantly wait for light, but only see darkness for brightness. But we walk in obscurity and gloom. We grope for the wall like the blind. Yes, we grope as they who have no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the twilight, in the dark places and among those who are full of life and vigor. We are as dead men. We all groan and growl like bears and moan plaintively like doves. We look for justice, but there is none. But salvation, it is far from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before you, O Lord, and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for iniquities, we know and recognize them as rebelling and denying the Lord and turning away from following our God, speaking oppression and re revolt, conceiving and muttering and moaning from the heart words of falsehood. Justice is turned away backward and righteousness, uprightness and right standing with God stands far off where truth has fallen in the, in the city's forum and uprightness cannot hear the courts of justice. Yes, truth is lacking and he who departs from evil makes himself a prey. And the Lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no justice. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his own arm brought him victory and his righteousness. For the Lord put on righteousness as a breast pillar or coat of mail and salvation for a helmet upon his head. He put on garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal. According as their deeds deserve, so will he repay wrath to his adversaries, recompense and to his enemies on the foreign islands and coastlands, he will make compensation. So they shall fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from rising the rising sun. When the enemy shall come like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him and put him to flight. For he will come like a rushing stream with the breath of the Lord drives. He shall come as a redeemer to Zion and to those in Jacob, Israel, who turn from transgression, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Canticle is on page 79, Canticle 1. The ruler of the universe, Lord, Lord God, God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord? and sing the praises of your name. For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our New Testament reading is from Hebrews chapter 5, starting in verse 11. About this we have much to say, and it is hard to explain, since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the basic principles of the oracles of God. You need milk, not solid food. For everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, since he is a child. But solid food is for the mature 
For those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. Therefore, let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go to, on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, and of instruction about washings, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and the eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. For it is impossible, in the case of those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, and have shared in the Holy Spirit, and have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the age to come, and then have fallen away, to restore them again to repentance, since they are crucifying once again the Son of God to their own harm, and holding him up to contempt. For, the, for land that has drunk the rain that often falls on it, and produces a crop useful to those for whose sake it is cultivated, receives a blessing from God. But, but if it bears thorns and thistles, it is worthless and near to being cursed and its end is to be burned. Though we speak in this way, yet in your case, beloved, we feel sure of better things, things that belong to salvation. For God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love that you have shown for his name in serving the saints, as you still do. And we desire each one of you to show the same earnestness and to have the full assurance of hope until the end, so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our next canticle is 6 on page 84. Splendor and, and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is. And by your will, they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood, you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation. A kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Amen. The Apostles' Creed on page 46. I believe, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, 
and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Lord God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, triumphed over the powers of death and prepared for us our place in the new Jerusalem, grant that we, who have this day given thanks for his resurrection, may praise you in that city of which he is the light, and where he gives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. We pray for Audrey, Heather, Lori, Katie, Jerry, Joyce, Patrick, Angela, Robert, Barb, Dylan, Carol, Anne, Olivia, Gladys, John, Bethany, Janice, Sydney, Clara, Enzo, Paul, Rhiannon, Barry, Diane, Rose, Brian, Paul, Mary Ellen, Ellie, Mike, Rob, Kim, Jacob, Baxter, Jackson Scribner Phelps, Keba, Joe, Victoria, Arlen, Bev, Winston, Marty, Elizabeth, Lisa, and Deborah, and those you would name. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you do for our country now as there is continued turmoil that you will help us to be, find peace, to be peace at peace with each other and to help the city of roses in particular to be the beautiful city that it once was and that it is going to happen. Keep us positive that we can make a comeback. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. The General Thanksgiving on page 51. Almighty, Almighty God, God, Father, Father of, of all mercies, mercies we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you, and you have
promise through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.